Hello there, well it's Saturday afternoon and it's the 28th, is that right Mark? I'm just having a, yeah, because yes. legal on 27th. Yes, it's, yeah. I've got uh, Mark here, he was uh, G7 NDJ and uh, one of the engineers who uh, helps me on these kind of things. And uh, yes, it's the 28th, it was legal yesterday to have SSB and so we took delivery of a couple of these uh, President Grant two Mark twos because this was the only set we could find ticked all the boxes, not just on the legal side of things, but when they would be selected into the UK mode would perform how we wanted them to do, rather than saying we're in the UK, readjusting them to say we were in CPT if we want to use SSB, going back to FM UK and faffing about like that. So we decided we'd do the only one which seemed to have the firmware in the right direction and that was this particular radio, which no doubt comes from Unidem. Right, well, we're going to take the uh, lids off the box and just see what happens. Mark's got a cough. Oh, look, he's got uh, all this on the back of the box as well. We didn't know it had a built-in SWR meter, and we didn't know it had dual, dual watch. And, oh, God, and, vo and box as well. Yes, thank you. In fact, you can... You know, I don't mind you having a word... Uh, with the viewers, Mark, you know, if you've uh, read it more than I have. No, I'm excited to see what's in the box. Well, I hope the factory didn't have a, a bad day. Now, we get a silly sticker. <laughs> they really do make you laugh. This is, yeah, this is the version 2 version. Uh, I've noticed lots of um, internet auction sites are selling the Grand 2, but not the version 2. Right. Okay, we'll get an instruction book, so I'll just pass that to Mark, so he can rustle for the rest of the video. What he's going to do, eventually, he's going to drive up the road seven miles away. Now, we can't, put, we can't do an optimization video on this yet, because the test equipment here is AM and FM only. We cannot do SSB with this test equipment. Now, those of you who have been following this will know that come September we'll have got another two test benches installed here, one of which is in another building here, and one of which is in another room here. Once that's done, when we've got the Schlumberger test set up and running in here, we will be able to optimise the SSB. Furthermore, we're waiting for a service manual from President, and the importer has assured us that they need one as well. So they need one as much as we want one, and so we're working with them, and that will be a forthcoming attraction. But I don't think the service manual has been written quite yet. So... This is going to be, as I say, something which is going to happen. So what I'm now going to do is we will just pause the video while I power it up. Okay, having got the setter now connected to the power supply, and our bench power supply here is 3 amps, and it says the current consumption on here is 3 amps maximum on SSB. So, um... Actually, I'll, put, I'll just plug it into the test set. We can at least see what the FM uh, bit of it's doing. So, as you can see, we're on UK channel 37 as it's, uh, as it's come. I've no doubt you can switch off those bleeps. Yeah, you can. Mark says so. Good. And I'll just put the test set on and we'll just see if it's doing what we'd expect on... Because you know what the radio's like when they come out of the box. Um... Oh, wow, it's doing 3.6 3 watts. And it's about on frequency, that's all right. So You can see it will need to be optimised, but that goes without saying. And I'll just see what the deviation is. Um, we should be looking at two and a half maximum. And let's have a look. It's just two. So, yeah, it's, it's a tiny bit on the quiet side, but well within the specification. Um, incidentally, the power there, I said, was 3.6, didn't I? Uh, that's within specification as well, it's within 20%, which is how it is. So there we go. So got lots of uh, features on that, and the way this switches is hopefully when we press the um, mode button, it'll step through. There we go. 27205, so that's channel 20 EU. Pressing it again, we're now on... FM, pressing it again, we're on upper sideband, 
pressing it again, we're on lower sideband, and then UK FM, we're back on. So that is exactly how we want it to work. It's been told we're in the UK, and it's set up the frequencies available to us without any silliness of pretending you're somewhere else, and that's how we want it to be. And we won't buy any other sets unless the software works in a similar way. I'm just going to now just test the receive side. I've put the signal generator on. We're on FM and I've put an S9 signal on 27.79.125. We'll just turn the volume up if I can find it. Okay, so we've got S9 there. Let's just zoom in on that display. I might be able to see it on the, in the monitor better than I can uh, on the radio. So what's that? Just over F9? Do you make that mark? It's giving yeah. it a um, plus yeah. 30. That plus is. 30. That's plus 30. So we're going to go, we're just going to check the sensitivity. That's one microvolt. So there isn't that much noise there, is there? That's 0.3 of a microvolt, which is jolly good. Now I'm going to drop the attenuator further. So that's 0 0.3, 0 0.25, 0 0.2. Point one, uh, 1.5, 0 0.15, 0 0.1 of a microvolt, 0 0.06. Now, if I turn the signal generator off and then back on again, it's definitely there, isn't it? And that's off our clock. So that is very sensitive. That brings it is as good as an Amstrad 901, which is uh, quite remarkable for a modern radio where they don't seem to be that uh, brilliant. We're just going to see how the squelch performs. I so I can't do any tests with the FM with with the sideband because we don't have the right test set to here at present. Um, so we'll just switch the signal generator off. We'll set the squelch to full. Put the signal generator back on, and it's coming in at plus thirty, so that's acceptable. And we'll just check the sensitivity for mi minimum squelch. So we'll just let's turn that off. So that sets threshold on the radio, signal generator on, and it's straightening it to, well, 0.3, it went back off. There's one with a good hysteresis. Good. Right, well, with that, we will um, get Mark to go for a drive down the road. And. Um, what does the SWR do button do? Oh, what does the SWR mean? It doesn't button? say anything in the instruction. Oh, well. The instruction manual is vague. Yes, it's not the best, is it? No. Um, SWR. Has that put it in SWR mode? I will now press transmit. It just shows you SWR, so you can't actually... Ah, right, it. yes. So, it, does it auto-calibrate? It auto-calibrates. That's it, then. It must do. Yes. Yeah, and SWR, of course, is perfect because it's into the, the test, test set. Yeah, it auto-calibrates. That's it. What we will do when while it's while it's on the video is I'll just put the antenna on instead of the um, the test set. But I'll pause this at video second. So now we're on the antenna. We'll see what the SWR is, and that's what you'd expect. Yeah, one point three something like that. It's auto calibrate. Yeah, it must auto calibrate. Okay, Mark. If you go for a little drive, and uh, we'll take it from there. Now what I've done is to send Mark six miles up the road, the wrong side of a hill. And so he's broadside into a hill, so it's really, really poor from there. We've done this to simulate him being further away than he really is. So I'll see if we can copy him. We're on channel 32, as you can see, um, on um, the CPT frequencies. There's quite a lot of inherent background noise anyway with people rabbiting a long way off. And we're on FM. Tango 21 ZX2, Mark, do you copy? Yeah, ZX2, I'll copy OK, that's fine. OK, roger on that. Okay, shall we just flick it to upper sideband, please? Yeah, that's the problem. Jeez, um, I didn't give me a hand call sound then. <laughs> uh, ZX2 from Tango 21, over. Okay then, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, over.
yes, I've now got you. And of course, it is it is indeed working better. If I remember the um, back to the um, studying days, I seem to remember SSB being two and a half times the range of AM or FM. Over. Okay, we'll go through to AM then. Okay, and flick it back to FM on this frequency, please. Okay, that's fine. If you'd like to return back to Tango Towers, that's a fine test. Thank you. Okay, I'll uh, leave the comments so we can see and uh, after we turn for a bit of tea. Thanks, Mark. Tango 21 out. Okay, well, that worked very well. I could hardly hear what he said in AM mode. I'm not surprised. I mean, it is a um, quite an old method of, uh, of doing it and he's really in a scratchy position but it just went to show there with the SSB and it's the first time I've used SSB on Citizens Band that obviously <laughs> and and that is that uh, you know it was clearer for where he was um, and that's, that's a jolly good test anyway so that's our preliminary little look at the President Grant 2 Mark 2 and um, when the service mail comes through and later in the year when the uh, other test bench is set up we'll be doing a, a servicing on this radio so there you go and uh, don't think you're getting this instead of uh, tonight's repair you will still get the repair so here you are Tango 21 hope you enjoyed that